Are you having poor Wi-Fi connection in your home? And you have kids that need to be connected due to homeschooling, etc. This might be the solution for you. This is a mesh Google Nest Wi-Fi that should be able to resolve any dead space or dead spot in your home where you lose Wi-Fi connection. And currently, you can find a link in the description of this video for $60 off at Amazon. So let's go ahead and unbox this and talk about this device. Essentially, this is a Wi-Fi device or an extension to an existing Wi-Fi where you can get full connection with Wi-Fi for big homes up to 4,400 square foot. If you don't have a large home, you can just get one of this instead of two. That should cover about 2,200 square foot. And in the box, very Apple-like. You just have your quick user guide. And you have your charge puck. And all this material feels very premium. Soft to the touch. It doesn't feel like hard plastic at all. And then you have your ethernet cable that comes with the device. And you only need to connect one of this ethernet cable to your modem, your internet provider modem. And then the other Wi-Fi router, you can put this anywhere in your home where you have that space, and that will be able to give you extra coverage where you don't get Wi-Fi connection with your old router. Again, same charge puck, and then you don't need that extra ethernet cable. So we're gonna put that away. And for two of these devices, it's uh, running for low 200s right now. It used to be high 300s. So you wanna take advantage of this deal that's currently going on. And I'll post again, the link in the description of this video where you can find it. And it looks very premium. It's not that big. It doesn't look like a router. And to set this up, it's fairly simple. All you need to do is download Google Home app. And if you have Gmail, you don't need to register. You just need to add this device. So you just want to follow the instruction that comes on screen. Uh, but before you get deep into the app, you want to find your internet modem and then plug the, one of the ethernet into one of this mesh Wi-Fi router and then power up by plugging the power cord. Let it sit for a minute or two and you should see the light turn, turn green. And once it's ready, you will go back to your app, follow the instruction by searching for the device, uh, adding new device, and then it's gonna ask for a barcode. So what you wanna do is go to the, one of the mesh router, um, prefer the one that is attached to your ethernet cable, to your modem, and then scan it using your phone And then the setup will be complete within a matter of minutes. If there's any update, it will inform you that it will start updating and restarting your mesh router. Then you will have um, an option to name your Wi-Fi connection and then set your password. And that's pretty much it. Very simple. Very clean design. Looks very premium. And again, to set this up, you just want to put it where the dead spot are. So I'm sitting in a dead zone and I'm going to connect to one of the Google Nest and it will know which uh, router, uh, Google Nest router you're closest to and it will connect to that one. So you don't have to go back and um, connect to one of the router wherever you're sitting. And the speed for us is 300 up and 300 down for our internet uh, provider. And it looks like it's pulling in close to that with just Wi-Fi. That's very impressive, even in the dead spot. So 254 on 262 upload. This is an old router. It's a gaming Linksys router. And we were only getting um, maybe 50, 50 down 
and uh, 50 up in the debt space area. Control, especially when your kid's home, you want to shut down the Wi Fi. Uh, it's connected to uh, pretty much any device securely. And I don't know what else to say other than, you know, if you have problems with Wi Fi connection, definitely c consider this as on top of your short list. And again, thanks for watching. Catch you all next time and remember to subscribe. And connect the other end to your modem. Connect your power cable to the router. Then plug the adapter into a power outlet. Wait about a minute, and the light will pulse white when it's ready for setup. If you don't have the Google Home app already, download it from the Google Play or the Apple App Store. Open the Google Home app and click the Add button. If you haven't already, create a home for your devices. If you've already set up a home, just add a new device. Choose your Nest Wi-Fi router. The app will lead you through setup. When prompted, point your phone at the QR code on the bottom of the router. The app will check your router's internet connection and finish preparing your Nest Wi-Fi for setup. Finally, name your network and choose a secure password that will be hard for others to guess. You'll be able to easily share the password with friends and family through the app whenever you need to. When your router setup is finished, the router's light will turn solid white. Now that you've set up your router, let's connect your Nest Wi-Fi point. Each point you add will provide additional coverage to your home by creating a mesh network. Depending on the size you of your more home. than one Wi-Fi point to get full home coverage. Check out the tool on the Google Store, linked in the description box below, to get a recommendation for your home. Place your point two rooms away from your router or from another point. Depending on your home, building materials and other objects can interfere with or reduce your coverage. You may need to adjust the location of your point if you experience issues. Put your point out in the open for the strongest Wi-Fi signal and to make it easy to interact with the Google Assistant. Connect your power cable to the point, then plug the adapter into a power outlet. Give it about a minute. The light ring under the point will pulse white. When it's ready for setup, it'll talk to you and let you know it's ready. Follow the instructions in the Google Home app to finish setting up your point. Follow the same process to set up any additional points. When you finish setting up all of your devices, the Home app will run a mesh test to confirm your devices are correctly placed, online, and working together. Once setup is complete, you can ask the assistant to play some music, check your internet speed, and more. Okay, Google, what's my internet speed? Blazing fast. You can use the Google Home app to change your Wi-Fi network password, run speed tests, set up parental controls, or create a guest network. That's it! Now you're ready to enjoy better Wi-Fi throughout your home and easy access to the Google Assistant.